Can you hear the drum? There's a revolution coming. Hello, buddies. This is Hugo again. In this video, I would like to present you a tutorial about how to RC convert this huge 200 scale bit smartphone trumpeter. Look at this incredible length, and let's get started. Here we peel off the deck, which has been injected into one piece. As could we glance through this internal structure, it is an ideal hell for RC conversion. Firstly, we follow the instructions to settle the bilateral shaft, which are Echo 35 and Echo 36. Both of the channels should be enlarged to 5mm in diameter. That will be the appropriate size to install the shafting box. Personally, I would recommend Drubis step from 2, 3, 4, and 5mm and do it manually. Please be careful and slow down the drilling work. Otherwise, you will deform the outer plastic. Until we enlarge it to 5mm, our brass shafting box could be smoothly installed with the supporting kit. Taking a brief rehearsal to make sure the shafting is in well in operation, then we glue the supporting kit on the helm. As always, the widespread modification and calibration work would be a tough issue, and we should pay more attention to avoid damaging the original kit. Now I suggest you have already watched my previous tutorial about Amiya Yamato. It may contain some of general approaches to deal with the similar structure of propulsion system. The key process is bending the brass port with the original kit in coaxial precision, because only in these circumstances, the bending precision and the outer shape would almost simulate the original plastic kit. Here is step on installing the shafting box. Considering the calibration by the plastic wise board should be taken in advance, so it is a joint assembly before we confirm the final precision. Once all these three parts in a row rotate smoothly, here we glue the shafting box by a little bit epoxy on the helm. Wait for a while for solidification, now we could replace the plastic support by the brass one. Certainly, the coordinate precision is already been locked by the shafting box. For previous glue assemblies, more portion of epoxy may let you have a chance to adjust the precision, but now we could safely glue the brass wise port. To ensure the middle shaft is in right central position, Please manually drill the queue at the very first beginning. Only after the axis is confidently being confirmed, and then enlarge the terminal by rotary tool. Installing the brass mount should well consider the dynamic balance, especially for such powerful motor will rotate in high speed. For waterline calibration, computer aid design has well been applied. With calculated parameters, we use line laser level tool to carefully mark the waterline from bow to stern. To achieve the basic steering function, we could arrange a 55 grain servo to the first channel. So, for the accelerator, we arrange the ESC to connect with the second channel. See, the signal wire has well been connected. For the power battery module, we applied a 
dedicated waterproof electric box to contain our 18650 lithium ion battery inside. Very place it on the middle front and connect it with the ESC bingo. It's done with peering procedure. Now we switch on the controller as well as the ESC. 